reference methods. We do have temperature values using the method of lines at the different time levels, okay? So we will not miss anything, but first we will make the lines. We, for those lines, we need the variables, okay? Now, let us go back to the system. How will I obtain the system of ordinary differential equations? Now, I have said that I want to divide my rectangle or a square of like, let's say I have a plate or let's say if, I, if I'm in 1D, I have a rod. So I have divided it into lines. Okay, and for each line, I have a ordinary differential equation. Remember that for the boundaries, for this T1 and this T11, what is the point students for this T1 and this T11, I will utilize the boundary conditions. And I will write these values in the MATLAB M file, I will show you. Whereas for T2, T3, T4 till T10, what am I going to do? I will write the scheme. How will I write the scheme? In the differential equation, I will replace R by 2, 3, 4, and so on to 10. Now you can see that I have obtained, in fact, how many differential equations? 11, 2 minus, 11 minus, uh, 2 minus 11 is uh, 9. So we have here 9 ODEs. And in the nine ODEs, how many unknowns are there? Of course, T0 and T11 will be given to you, the boundary conditions. So what is left behind? We have got nine vectors, nine vectors of the uh, temperature with respect to time as well. So, okay, so let us understand it in detail. For example, T2 is actually a vector with the temperature values at all the temporal locations and how many temporal locations? Five temporal locations, okay? The horizontal lines, okay? So I have got a five cross one vector for T2. I've got a five cross one vector for T3. I've got a five cross one vector for T10 and so on. Okay, now remember that whenever we use the system of ordinary differential equations, if it is a very simple system, so the straightforward way is to use ODE 45. Okay, so let us go to MATLAB and let us implement this scheme. Now the method of lines scheme is very clear to you. We need to solve these equations, these nine equations to find the temperature values at uh, the let's say nine cross five um, vector uh, grid points. All right. So now uh, let us go to the M file. Now we have got two M files here. Okay. Now let us explore the M files step by step. Now what is happening here? Can you see the first line? I've given the name here. Okay. And this is the name of this function, conductivity in the rod. So you can give here even your surname or any name and save it in the MATLAB folder uh, in the documents folder okay now t for time y for the variable now remember that this y in your case is t2 t3 t4 up to so on to t9 t10 okay t11 and t0 will be given to you now what is t a now this is the uh, temperature given to you what is alpha this is the constant let us go to the picture we have alpha here and the beta here this is the constant this is the constant you can even change these values for your um, project for your mini project okay so uh, we have here alpha and beta given to us and then we have here uh, the initial temperature we can see t1 t1 is 100 t11 is 25 now let us take these values to the M file, okay? So now you can see that here I have um, capital N is equal to length of Y plus one. Remember students that if we have 10, then it, in fact it is 11, okay? Because we are talking about the boundaries. 10 patches stands for 11 points. Okay, now this thing, this value is given to you 100. Now, what is this? Uh, 2 is to n. This is from, let's say, if your n is 
and uh, in in your question if your n is 10 then it is 2 till 10 okay and you have given it a new name y why because for the system of odes we need the variables in this question you have 10 variables all right so now um, uh, what do you have uh, t n plus 1 is given as the initial uh, the boundary temperature okay first boundary and the second boundary and now the step size step size is of course 1 by 10 and then dt uh, this is now now we come to the point we are now defining the function for the ode 45 so this is pre, pre allocating for speed so zeros vector and plus one comma one now you can see that for i is equal to two is to n if you're not that much good in writing the loops for example if you want to understand the method you can even write three differential equations here just as i have typed here three differential equations for your understanding two three ten but then you write it in matlab write it two three four without any gap okay otherwise you'll get an error and the best way is to understand it with the help of the loop. What is happening here, the loop will work for 2 is to n. This means that at i is equal to 2, you will get the first equation as I have showed you in the picture. Second, third, up to so on to 10. Okay, and remember that now we are moving from PDE system to ODE system. And now in the ODE system, we are very confident. Why? Because we know we have simple 10 differential equations and we know how to solve 10 differential equations together using ODE 45. For that, we, we need, we always require, let me show you what ingredients are required for the ordinary differential equations, how to solve 10 ODEs using MATLAB, we need ODE 45, we need the inputs, that is the equations, we have the equations. Where are the equations? The equations are uh, here. This loop, is actually representing 2 is to 10. That is 9 ODEs, the first and the last. T1 and T11 is already given to you in the form of the boundaries. So where will we use your boundary conditions? You will use your boundary condition here. You will use your boundary condition here. Is that clear? Okay, that is what students asked me today when I had quick meetings. So now what is going to happen now? We want to evaluate the functional value uh, for dt, 2 is to n, and when, let us go to the m file, the other m file, where we will utilize this m file. You can see that the function name was rod conductivity. And now I'm going to use this function inside another command here. This is the function okay and we have here this is the basic syntax for ode45 how do we use it we say ode45 apply it on time apply it on space and in of how many space variables t1 t2 t3 up to so on to t11 so why is uh, actually depending on 11 vectors t1 to t11 capital t's okay and that is that stands for the temperature Okay, and each each component is again a vector five cross one. So it is actually, a, you can say 11 cross five uh, matrix. Okay, so now you can see that you are going to apply the, uh, actually this is the system of differential equations. This file contains the information about the conditions and it contains the information about the differential equations. So actually, we can transform this picture in the form of an M file here, okay? And I have saved it in the correct folder inside my documents, MATLAB folder. And then I've made another M file, I will save it in the same folder. And now this is T-span. What is this T-span? T-span is this thing, okay? So let me highlight it. T span is you are telling MATLAB that compute every T at these time locations. You will put the lines here. MATLAB will do it by itself. All you need to do is you need to tell MATLAB about the time step. Okay, sometimes you can even replace it by instead of 0, 20, you can say lin space. 
zero one five. We can change it to our uh, given uh, uh, criteria according to the given question or a given presentation. We can uh, edit it. Okay. So now you have the um, uh, operator here ODE forty five. And now you will solve it. What will it do actually, student? It will give you the solution at all the points on the grid. For example, if you want to see everything like this, so uh, let's make it more clear. Okay, according to now, uh, like now, the new thing we have now changed it to n is 10 in this question as well. So, uh, let us run this code and see what we get. So, can you see here? We have got actually uh, all the temperature values at all the locations, and uh, these, these values are capital T for different points you can see here students the grid points along the space and along the time you can see the different uh, you can see the temperature values so y axis is the temperature okay so uh, this is very nice and we can always um, plot the graphs in this way and um, you can see here that this is uh, from zero to one and five points, one, two, three, four, five. So here we have along the x axis actually the time. Okay. And along the y axis we have the temperature. Okay. And if you want to see the space as well, let us give it a try. Um, for the space we had, let's say x is equal to uh, zero is to. Mm. One is two, ten. Okay, let's say that these were the spatial locations. So you can also add the space and you can also add it into plotting, and then you will put the plot three command and you can add the space here and you can plot the graph for 3D. Okay, so uh, that is how you can implement it. So the main uh, motivation of this project is how will you change the initial condition from here? Uh, this is the first, uh, the, bound, uh, the ending boundary condition. This is the starting boundary condition. And of course we have the initial condition as well. So where is the initial condition? Here is the initial condition. Students, please remember this is the initial condition. And what is initial condition? It is given to you as T naught two is to N. And what is it? It was a constant given to you. If in the uh, exam I give you a function of time, then definitely you will write here dot static t and you will define the time uh, before this line okay so the main objective was to understand the method of lines and that i have demonstrated it with the help of this slide okay so now please uh, solve the project and if you face any difficulty please uh, you can leave a message on skype or you can send me an email all right